Now this, this Japanese stab stitch also has a jade bead on the tag. Let me undo that. And this one is quite beautiful with its hydrangea flowers, daisy flowers, but also eucalyptus. And eucalyptus are always one of my favorites to plant stain with. There's a little branch of eucalyptus right there. This paper is dyed with lavender and, and um, avocado, avocado pits and avocado skins. Gorgeousness. Has some nice shading that gives you some impressions of the background, a little bit of imagery, but really great to write in. And look at this in interior insert. It's gorgeous. This is some chrysanthemum mum. These are leather leaf ferns. And you've got some hydrangea flowers right there, a rose petal, just gorgeousness. Love it. You can even see that I call this a ghost print. So that print's coming from another page that was next to it. Some more of your interior pages to write, to draw, to doodle, to put pictures on. I love these Japanese stab stitch journals for photo books. I just think they're great photo books. It would be great at the holidays to pass this around and get people to sign it and um, give them a little, you know, give a little something that they want to say in it. This is another branch of eucalyptus and there you go on the back. Isn't that back gorgeous? So when this book is is done, when you go all the way through it or even when you're just working on it and you want to close it up and it's a little bit bent, all you do is just flatten it out a little bit. That's perfect paper to doing that and then just wrap it and put your little tea tag back on it. One of the things that I love about the wrap is that you can stuff this book fill with papers or with pictures or anything you want to and wrap it up and there you go.